this clip's about time distance graphs and these are really really useful for showing something like a moving object in a diagram form now typically we use a pair of axes to show our time distance graph with time being shown along the bottom and our distance being shown along here so time will be along the x-axis and distance along the y-axis let's take a really simple example now imagine on a nice quiet Sunday morning somebody jumps in their car to the corner shop no other traffic on the road so it's a nice steady journey to the shop he then gets out of the car stays at the shop for a period of time and then travels back again pretty much at the same rate so what the graph is actually showing is the car traveling here to the shops and back from the shop but this part is where he is at the shop the car is not actually traveling any distance whatsoever but the time it is still there for a period of time let's try a slightly more complicated example now of a diver actually going underwater and this is shown by having a negative region here for the distance so let me just draw his dive profile his distance relative to the surface so imagine he's going underwater descending to the bottom of the seabed and his dive looks like this but what's actually going on here well for the sake of argument let's say that the diver is going to visit a shipwreck at the bottom of the sea so this is his descent to the very bottom of the sea where he's going to spend a little bit of time looking at the bottom of the shipwreck here he then ascends a little bit he goes back up where he can then spend a little bit of time around the top of the shipwreck until eventually he then ascends back up to the surface time for you to have a little go now I've got four time distance graphs here which I'd like you to try and match up with four different activities the first one is a car in a traffic jam the second one is the movement of the pendulum on a grandfather clock lady going shopping and finally somebody jumping out of an aircraft on a parachute jump pause the clip and see if you can match the activities to the time distance graphs let's try this one first of all did you get it it's actually the lady going shopping similar to the car in my previous example here we can see she's traveling to the shops spends a little bit of time in the shops she actually gets back quicker than when she went probably because she doesn't want her frozen vegetables to defrost this one's a little trickier it's actually the pendulum on the clock time always carries on but the distance relative to the actual center of the grandfather clock for the pendulum comes and goes this one whilst it probably looks a bit awful is actually probably quite simple it's the car in the traffic jam with a stop start motion so finally this one is the parachute jump where the guy jumps out of his aircraft the speed here is really quick presumably when he hasn't got his chute open and then he slows down in terms of distance slows down when his chute is open I hope that helps